Are you going to cheat today? Of course, I'm going to cheat today. By the way, I expect you to go and finish these chips and burger if this is going to be your first cheat meal of the week. Eh? Yeah, so, the, the, the thing that I disagree with um, most people is that, you see, a lot of health experts, they pretend and they keep preaching to people that, oh, you should only eat salads, you should only eat salad. I, I personally think that being healthy is not about only eating salads or eating fruits, right? It should be a balanced meal, a meal that comprises of all different nutrients, all different types of food. This is the thing that people are misunderstanding and that's why a lot of people fail because you can't be eating salad alone and I can't, I can't be eating this alone, right? It's, it's ridiculous. But the secret is this, right? You have to set a cheat day. A lot of times I find that a lot of health gurus, health experts out there, they are, you know, they are hypocrites. I use that word because they tell people to do one thing but on the other hand, they are doing something else. Behind the, the scene, they are sneaking, eating the burger, eating the nasi lemak. No, just, just tell people if you are eating that truly, right? So, for me, this is my first cheat meal of this entire week and it's important because this is to keep you sane. Um, this is basically to stop you from mentally deprived of the food that you want. Because a lot of times when people are deprived, when they started eating, they could not stop and this is really, really bad not only for the weight, it's also for the health issues, right? So, I've discovered that you shouldn't totally cut away all that sinful food, set it a day. The only problem is that most people don't set a cheat day they continue eating non-stop, so set a cheat day.